Okay, here we go. Okay, we are doing multiplying squares today. So, let me see if you guys remember what we, what we did uh, on Friday. You guys remember how to, without a calculator, how to simplify square 40, right? What happened? Like four times ten. We do four and ten. And then like two and two and two and five. Then what do we do? And then two and five to keep the last parent. Yeah, if it's a square, we need doubles to come out. So if you have a double two, a two comes out, and then two and five is left behind, which is ten. Which is ten. Yeah. Okay, it's two times square root of ten. Two square root of ten. Okay, um, today's is pretty similar to that, except for there's some multiplying happening. Um, actually, let's do this. Is it working? No. Is it optional? No. No, actually, it is optional. It is optional because that's the actually, only assignment. Even this stuff you can make really? it optional. Yeah, you can do it. Not it's good. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. It's your choice. I mean, sure it's not good. I mean, okay. no, I'm not good. I mean, I'm not good. I mean, I'm not good. What? Yeah, what's the page number? I don't know. I think it's like 4. The next one after 420 or 439. Uh, 444. 444. Forrest, do you want your pencil now? Okay. So, there's two ways you can do this without a calculator. Um, one of them is just like normal numbers can multiply together, square roots can multiply together. So, square root of 15 times square root of 20 is square root of 300. It's not equal to 300, it's equal to whatever the square root of 300 is because 15 times 20 is 300. Okay, and then you can do a tree just like we did on other things. There's kind of a cheat for this tree. Let me point it out. 3 times 100, 100 is 10 times 10. Now, 10s could break down some more, right? 2 times 5, 2 times 5. But if you have a double, you can kind of just stop right there. Really? Well, I don't think we had problems big enough to do that. Plus, this is like advanced. this is the advanced lesson, okay? So this is ten squared of three. Um, or here's another way. It's probably the better way. Is just start before you multiply these together. Just start doing the tree over here. So this is five times three, and four times five, and two times two, and so your doubles. So whatever goes into 300 is going to be the exact same stuff that goes into 15 times 20. And you're going to get the same from this as you would from this. Although, I didn't break it all the way down over here. So, yeah, 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 3. 5, 2, 2, 5, 3. What comes out is 5 times 2, and what's left behind is 30. Like that. You guys got it? So not really much new, um, basically nothing new today on that. It's just, it's just a little bit more. If you have a nice calculator, you can do that in one step. But here's, what could the calculator not do though? Right, if I put a little three there, the calculator can't do it anymore. Um, and that means you'd have to have a triple. In this case, there are no triples. There's two, two, five, five, three, no triples. So this would not, cuter to 300 actually would not simplify. So, anyways. Are we ready? What page are we on? 444, four, four, one through 22. Yeah, that's a good number. We got 444 four, four, and we got 22. They're like divisible each other in the you should make it two three, one, The two, day is four, four. So you should just make it zero. <laughs> Bro, are you stupid? Then we have Bro, to do like all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one. <laughs> Let's do this without a calculator. What's square root of five times square root of three? Fifteen. Square root of fifteen. You put fifteen down, it's wrong. No, I don't have credit. Okay, the square root of fifteen simplify. No, because what goes into it? Five times three. No doubles, right? So you today we're not gonna put does not simplify. We're just gonna put square root fifteen. Because we did kind of simplify it right there. Five times three is fifteen. Yeah. Do you have to turn 
Uh, there's not any work to show yet. Let's see. Maybe on number 17, there will, the last B section there will be. Okay. Square root of 8 times square root of 3. What? Square root of 24. But does that simplify? Yeah. Yeah. Now, like I said, you can do the tree on the 24, or you could go back here on the 8. 8 is 4 times 2. 3 is just 3. Nothing happens there. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So do you guys know what it's going to be? 3 and 2. It's going to be 2 square root of 6. The double comes out, so it's 2 square root of 6. Okay, you can do it over here on the 2 square root of Number five, 12 times five, what's, what is 12 times five? 60. 60. 12, a four can go into it, right? So what's it gonna be then? Square root of 15. Two, square root of 15. Times tables, 51. Oh, but 5 plus 1 is 6. Is six. 5 plus six. 1 is 6. 3 can go into 6, so 3 can go into 51. That's right. But 5 plus 9 is 14. 3 can't go into 14. So, in other words, 5 times 2 times 15 does not simplify. Well, we still have to multiply it together. We're not going to write does not simplify. What's 118 times 5? Five nine. Five nine. Five eight, right? Uh, no, no five nine. Yeah, the lean man is correct. Five eighty. Five eighty. Yeah, the lean man is correct. Well, I don't know. Lean man every time. Okay, thir 
13. Uh, square root of 3 times square root of 2 minus 1. Well, guess what kind of problem this is? A math problem. Multiplication. More specific. Distributive. Distributive. Oh. Right? Can I simplify square root of 2 minus 1? Uh, no. No, it does not simplify. But I can distribute out the square root of 3 times both of those. What's the square root of 3 times the square root of 2? Square root of 6. Oh, yeah. Minus. Square root of 3. What's square root of 3 times 1? Square root of 3. What if it was square root of 3 times 2? What would we have put? Square root No. Let me change the problem a little bit. What if it said that instead? Square root of 6. No. Okay. This is square root of 6. What's 2 times square root of 3? Doesn't simplify, so we would just do that. 2 times square root of 3. What are you doing with your phone there? It's not mine. What are you doing with it? She's taking the ASMR. Stab it. There's like stuff on the back and she's trying to get it off. Okay, but it didn't say 2, it said 1, so it's just 1 square root of 3 or square root of 3. Do these two subtract together? No, they do not. Uh, this is actually Wednesday's lesson, so they kind of got ahead of themselves there. Adding and subtracting. You remember how you can only add and subtract like terms? Yeah. Um, well, these aren't like terms. Like 2 squared of 3 plus 4 squared of 3 is 6 squared of 3. Okay, that's right as well. Kind of like 2x plus 4x is 6x. That's not really today's lesson, but I'm just saying that to point out that these two don't subtract. Does square root of 6 simplify? Yeah. It's like 3 and 2. No. Because there's no doubles in square root of 6. No. The smallest number, can you guys tell me what's the smallest square root that actually does simplify? 4. 8. Well, 4 technically, but 4 just is a normal. Um, square root of 8. Because it has a 4 in it. Yeah. But or you could say square root of 1, square root of 0. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 0 is 0. But I meant like the simplified, not the solved kind. Okay. Anyway, that's all. My point was that's all we can do on 13. And number 14 is pretty similar to that. 15, we can do a little bit more than we did on 13. Square root of 7 times square root of 21 plus square root of 2. So square root of 21 plus square root of 2 does not mix. They do not add. Well, so guess what I need to do? Distribute. Distribute. Okay, so square root of 7 times square root of 21 is square root of 147 plus square root of 7 times square root of 2 Square root of 14. What else? What else do you guys think I could do? Anything? We're done? No. Guess what I know for sure goes into 147? One. Seven. Six. Seven and seven. Because there's a seven inside of 21, right? That means there's two sevens hidden inside here that are multiplied. Anyway, this is seven times 21. I just got that from right there. And 21 is 7 times 3. So what does square root of 147 simplify to? Pax and sit up. 7 square root of 3. So we got 7 square root of 3 plus square root of 14. That's all you can do. The, oh gosh, 16 is the only one where you can actually add stuff together. Can you do it with us? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you. Oh. Well, then why are you can do it. You can close yeah. your ears if you want to try on your own. Okay. No. I'm good. How do you close your ears? Because that's the touch. 
give my earlobes and then push them up and cover my ears. Oh my gosh, so it's the same? That's What do you guys think we do first on 16? We can distribute. Uh, there's actually two routes we could go on this one. 18 does simplify, but probably, I don't want to confuse you guys too much, so let's just go ahead and distribute square root of 6 right here. We'll simplify it later. 6 times 18, I believe, is 108. Yes. Six times two is twelve. Now what? It's a, it's a, uh, okay, I know one hundred eight. <laughs> is six times eighteen. You guys know how I knew that? I thought what about it? Because it's right there. You got it. Okay, you can do nine and twelve too. It works out all the same. So six is three and two. Eighteen is nine and two. Okay, what is this going to simplify to? Simplify to six. Square root of six. Right, three, three times two is six, and the leftover three. Let's go. Plus, does square root of 12 simplify? Yeah. Six and two. Four times Four. three, right? So it's <laughs> two square, square root of three. All right. Like I said, the reason we're doing this one together and it's more complicated is because they kind of put this problem out of order. It should have been next assignment's problem. And adding it's so nice to be really good. Yeah, and then... Yeah, because no we're smart. Remember what I just said about adding square roots? It's, it's, it's this is kind of like 6x plus 2x is what? 8x. Eight. Eight. So 6 square root of 3's plus 2 square root of 3's equals 8 square root of 3's. Granted, her thing off. Eight square root of three. <laughs> no more on So back to the others. We're almost done. Okay, now we're in the danger zone. Okay, what changed on the B section? The cube. The cube roots instead of square roots. Why? Okay, but we don't fear it because we're basically doing the exact same thing we just did. Okay, I could do 40 times 54 and then start making a tree from that. But might as well pretend I already broke down the 40 and 54. Like that. Anyway, what goes into 40? Eight and five, four and ten, both of them will work. Okay, what goes into fifty-four? Nine and six. Nine and six. Three, 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 three. Okay, so remember we're doing a cube root, which means we need triples. We need triples. So I see a triple three right there. And a triple two. And a triple two right here. And I have a couple leftovers. So who knows what's going to go on the outside? Six. A six. two escapes, a three escapes, two times three is six. What's left on the inside? A ten. Ten. Don't forget it's Q group. Yeah, remember that warning from last week? Keep the root. You get F1 test if you do. Later, sir. Uh, you can just do it on the hearing, so it's fine. Okay. 
Okay, what can go into 56? Nine. No, that's 54. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. Literally. Okay, how about 98? What goes into 98? What 100% for sure goes into 98? Two. Two. Two times. Um. 49. What goes into 49? Okay, so remember we're looking for triples. You guys see any triples? The two and the seven. There's a triple two. See, it works. And a triple seven in the leftover one. So, what's going to go 14. on the outside? Two. Seven times two, 14. What's two. left behind? Two. Uh, two. Can you also do number 14 with us? No, 14 is easier. Just look at 13 or 15. Probably 13, more like 13, I guess.
No. You don't like it if 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 so technically there should be a square on top of it or anything. You can't square six. <laughs> for the letters you gotta do for the X's you gotta do three divided by two. Which is like one with three one. That means one X comes out, one X is out. Dude, I'm gonna have Okay, yeah. Three divided by two is one with the remainder one. So I would just need to keep an X out, or what? So I gotta do that with the X and then so Yeah. And then stick that there? Yeah. And also, remember that X is there as well as the And then two on the left? Or, uh... Well, didn't you already put that? Why square? Yeah. 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 Yeah.